All right, here we go, everybody. All my fellow wants is out there. Listen, we got twice. The first album, the story begins. We got the next two songs, which are songs three and four. This is I Think I'm Crazy and uh, Like a Fool. So, want to thank Rexo Lyrics for putting these up so we can get to them. Um, we've done one of their videos before. Uh, great work on these. So, we're looking forward to this and appreciate them. All credit to Twice. Everybody involved, we do not want any. Do not need any. All we want to do is promote Twice, as always. So, let's go. Songs three and four. And then we'll get five and six here in, in about an hour. And we'll be good with this album. Uh, it's only six songs, so... Yeah. And then if y'all want us to do the next album, you let us know. Everything is down in the description on how to do that. Check down there. Uh, also, subscribe to Twice, Rexel Lyrics, all them. We appreciate it, my friends. All right? Let's go. Let's see what they got. Let's do it. Okay. So good in this. So good. Call this a B-side if you want to. I have a working theory. We'll talk about it here in a little bit. Just. And, and y'all can tell me I'm wrong. Whatever. But we'll talk about it here when the song ends. When we switch. And give me a minute in between to switch, by the way. For those that are brand new here. Got to give me just a second in between to switch. And then we'll talk about it. Vocals are so good, though. Love the groove of this song, too. The beat of it. It's got a really cool synth and drum beat. It's very different.
Okay. Give me a second to change. And then we'll talk about it. I, this is just, I have a big theory here. But give me a minute. Let me change this out. Yeah, this is, uh, that's such a cool tune. Not oh, shoot. Wrong button. I'm bad about that. I hit the wrong button sometimes, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this will be like a fool. Give me a second once it starts to change it out, or once it starts to pause it. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Jeez. They're too quick. Okay. Now. Theory. Just a theory. Right? I have a feeling when the writers were writing this, whether it's JYP, another writer, the ladies, whatever the case may be, Right? Like that last song right there. That last song is a for instance. Right? Yes, you say B-side. I don't see B-side. I see transition or T-stage song. Like that song would be perfect when the ladies are out on the T-stage and they can look directly into the eyes of the the once is out there and be singing and posing and taking pictures, what have you. That song is perfect for that, right? Uh, what was the one? Oh, Do It Again. The second song on the album, right? Yeah, the title track, Like Ooh Ah. And then you had Do It Again and then that one, right? Do It Again is a perfect transition song. Like if you're coming out of a ballad or you're coming back from, you know, a change of outfits, whatever. Perfect transition song to get the, the crowd rocking again. That's the way I think they were thinking when they wrote, when they write the outside songs on the album or the B-sides, as they're so put. But I don't see B-sides. I see more transition songs, T-stage songs, main stage songs that are just boom. You know what I mean? It, it seems to me that everything that was written was written with the crowd and stage in mind. So far. Now, I could be wrong. But that's just a, it's a theory. It's a working theory. Let's see what Like a Fool has. Y'all ready? Let's go. Love that acoustic. Sharp.
Again, you can see this on if you're looking at their stage, right? Say their their big giant stage with their T stage out front, right? The ramp and the T stage. I can see them, right? When I'm listening to this, I can see them all over the main stage and on the ramp and things like that. You know, like looking directly into the crowd at some of the guys and singing this you know, kind of cutesy with the fingers and this, that, and the other. It's just a really cool track, you know? But you can see every one of these live. And I think, like I said, I think that's where the writers were thinking when they wrote all this. Now, I don't know how much of this album JYP wrote himself, how much other writers did, how much the girls did on it. But I can see that. I can see the, the thought process of a live show whenever they were writing this. You can hear it in it. My friends, we will be back in an hour with the last two on this album. That was two great songs. And like I said, I could, I mean, that's what I see. Of course, when I listen to music, I see live anyway, because I've seen so many concerts over the years, right? And I love a good live show. And they put on a good one, a really, really good one. Uh, for those that are new here, if you haven't yet, Jump over and check out the Patreon. We have several Twice concerts over there. Plus, we have the 16 show, all that. Uh, <coughs> we'd love to have you check out a concert with us. You can get in the gate for a dollar, or you can jump up to the $3 level and get one request a month guaranteed. All you got to do is tell me what it is, okay? My friends, thank you so very much. I will see you in about an hour. This old Pops. We are out. <laughs>